I've come out into the garden to answer a question. And that question is going to be posed many times at this time of year, people dusting off their barbecues. And the question on their lips is going to be, what are wasps for? This old barn door is quite special. You see all these little grey vertical lines here? All of these patterns, every single one of these stripes has been made by a busy, industrious wasp. Now, the sun's shining on the door today, and I've noticed that there are some queen wasps coming to collect this wood. And if I'm patient, one might just turn up and oblige. But I will have to cover my mouth when I'm talking because they don't like the smell of mammal breath. If I had all the hours I'd spent waiting for wasp, I'd probably spend them waiting for wasps. Look at this. I'm just a few centimetres away from a queen common wasp. She's just been away to a pool somewhere. She's filled up with water so she can generate lots of saliva. And then she's backing slowly down the door, using her sharp mandibles to rasp away at the surface, rolling up a bolus of wood pulp. What about that? Superb. So she's just flown off somewhere to where she's making a nest in a small chamber. It could be in a mouse hole beneath the ground. It could be somewhere up in the rafters of a barn like this, or even in a bird box. I've got one of those nests here. This was one that was made last summer. Tiny little ball made by the Queen. It was made from wood pulp that was taken from this door. It's a nest with history. They make tiers of combs which go down through the nest. And then this is the sort of finished home for one of our wasp species. So you can see the paper envelope on the outside here, which protects the nest from drafts, will keep it cool or warm, depending on the temperature. Each one of these lines on the paper here is one bolus of wood pulp. So one of these scraping sessions has produced each one of these lines. So you can imagine how industrious the wasps have to be to make a nest like this. And then of course, inside the nest, hexagonal cells just like a bee's honeycomb and into these the wasp lay their egg when the grub hatches they have to feed it and they feed it on meat so they're out hunting all the time flies caterpillars other invertebrates and this is one of the reasons why wasps are good things because they are maintaining a balance sorting out the ecology of these types of insects and particularly if you're a gardener, do you want your garden overrun with hungry caterpillars munching all of your flowers, your fruit and veg? Probably not. But wasps are doing invaluable work. No chemicals required. Let the wasps do the gardening for you. They don't just eat meat, they need fuel. And for that, they want nectar. So they're constantly visiting flowers for energy. And as they do so, when they're dipping their heads into the flower to drink that nectar, they're getting the pollen on their heads. We often think of bees as being the most important pollinators, but these guys are playing a very important role too. So when people say to me, what are wasps for? I try to resist saying, what are you for? And I tell them what I've told you. They are ecologically essential. They are great for controlling other invertebrate populations. They are beautiful and they're fascinating. I love wasps.